session, it's going to be talking about associating production labor with a job. So that way you can clock on the jobs, clock on the parts, to track how much time you actually worked on a particular job. Um, there's a couple different things that you can do to start setting up the process to be able to do that. And the first thing that you can do is you go to Setup, System Setup. Under the section for production, and then under production, there is a question that says, labor automatically creates part usage cards for labor, and then labor time cards. If you're going to be using this feature, you probably would want to set that to never, so that way you're not accidentally creating two part usage cards for every type of labor that you have. So the next section is going to be stations. This is where you tell it what station an employee can clock on to. So do you want them to be able to clock on to you know, your time off clock? So you have your, you have your left station there, so you can clock into that station. You have your installation stations. So installation in progress, um, installation in queue. So you can have it on each individual station it can be clocked into or not. Because typically you wouldn't want to be able to clock onto an on hold station because you're not actually going to be doing any work. Or you wouldn't clock onto an in queue station as well. Whereas in progress, you're going to actually be clocking on to the installation. You want to be able to set that as a station that you're working with. Um, if you're using the payroll module on top of that, you can specify if you can specify the workers comp code, the default expense account, and then if it's a paid station or if it's an unpaid station, because it will take that into account in terms of when you clock on to these jobs. And then the last thing that you can do to kind of set up this, to set up this feature is if you scroll down a little bit more, there is a question for time clock options. With the time clock options, you can tell it when you go to clock on to a job, you want to have your password entered when you go to clock in, clock out. Do you want to have the password entered every time that you try to change your station or change your status to work on a different job? Um, do you want to be able to enter in extra information? So do you want to be able to put any notes with each of the cards that you clock on to a particular job with? And when you clock on to a job, you want, to, you want the system to automatically assign that job to you when you clock on to it. And then lastly, you want to be able to, you want to require a station for every time clock that you enter. Those are all options that you have full control over that you would specify on this particular screen here. So there's multiple different ways that you can use to clock onto a job. Um, the easiest way is you can go to the time clock button at the top, and then you'll see a listing of all the employees, all the people that are clocked in, what they're currently clocked in and working on. So right now, I'm clocked in, I'm clocked in as Keith. So I want to be able to clock in and work on a particular job. So I can click on this clock in and set status. So it's going to ask me what station I'm clocking into. So what is the initial station that I'm going to be working on when I clock into the system? So I want to start working under, I'm going to be doing production jobs. So I want to be working on production. If I have a particular order that I'm working on, I can actually clock into that at this time as well. So I can either type in the order number if I know the number, or I can search for that particular order in the system. If you pick a job to clock onto, you can also pick a line item to clock into as well. So I can clock onto any of the items on this particular job. And then maybe I'm going to be working with a specific part. So I want to say I'm going to be doing production. I'm actually going to be doing the mounting. So I can select the, you know, this labor here for hand mount labor. That's the part that I'm going to be clocking onto. If there's any specific notes that I wanted to go with that particular job saying, you know, that I wanted to quickly recheck this job or I wanted to, you know, anything that you want, want to note that you're working with on this particular clock in, you could type your notes here. And then lastly, based off the options that I looked at earlier, you would have to enter in your password right here. So when you hit enter and have all that information in there, it will show you that you now are working on production clock in at 113, 
I'm working on job 1108 for Laurie Smith Company. The contact is Julie Smith, and the part that I'm working on is hand mounting later. So now it's basically it's tracking the time that I'm plopped into this particular job and I'm onto this part. That's one way that you have that you can clock onto a job. Another way is if I actually open up the job it is that I'm working on, I can right click on the item that I want to work on, go to line of options, and then I can, in this case, I'm clock onto it, so that's one way that I can use the clock off to it. Also, if I wanted to work on a different job, I can select a different or a different item on the job, I just right click that item on our options and I tell it that I want to clock on to this item as well. In which case then I get the same screen that I got earlier and I can clock onto the type of station it is that I'm going to be working with. And I tell it the part on this one that I'm going to be working with. So that will clock you off of the first job that you were on and now it will start tracking your time that you were clocked on to this particular job. And it will basically it will track all that information every time that you clock on clock off of a job, it will track that for you. Also, any time that you clock on to a job with production terminal, it will also track that information for you as if you were to clock in and clock off of control. The process is the exact same and it will still track all the information that you enter in on the production terminal it will store that information and will appear on some of the reports that we're about to view. The last thing is, so once you've clocked in, you know, it comes to the end of the day, you need to make sure that at the end of the day, you're clocked onto a job. When you're done, you need to remember that you clock off or clock out whenever you're done. So I tell it I'm going to clock out. And that will say that I am now clocked out for the day. It'll track the time that you are clocked in to that particular job, and it will let you know, you know, I was working on this particular job for two minutes. I was clocked in for the entire day for four minutes. So to go with that, you now have the option to go to reports, employee, time clock reports, and then time clock labor by order. This you can show details, you can pick the division, and you can pick specific orders that you'd want to see your labor for. In this case here, I just want to keep everything selected and I want to preview this report. So this will show me a listing of every order in the system and every time someone has clocked on and clocked off of a job. So it will show me the total time that somebody that all the employees are clocked on to a particular job. So I can look and see, you know, for this particular job, how much time where my employees actually clocked on and working on that job. So it gives you a good overview of not just your estimated time, but the actual system time that someone was applied to this particular job. And it will do a sum of, the of every employee on that particular job. So if, if more than one employee clocked on to that job, it would list all those employee names, show me the totals for each employee on that job, and then show me the total labor hours that were worked on that particular job. So you can use this report so they look and see just how much time are people actually spending working on a particular job. And it will note you know, what product they are working on, what part they are working on, and any descriptions and kind of notes that they have for that particular part. You'd be able to look here and see all that information with this report. So the last thing you can do with these clocking on and clocking off is you can apply those costs to the job so you can actually have a good view at the end of the job what your actual cost, what your actual margin is on a job. So with all these done, you can go up to tools, utilities, and then create usage cards from time clock entries. It's going to say this procedure will automatically create usage cards from time cards. Tell it yes. You tell it the date range of the usage cards that you want to work with. So if you only want to post usage cards that were clocked in for the last month, you would set that as your date range. Once you have your range set, you click OK, and it will tell you creating usage cards for your time cards and post them for you. And then it gives you the ability to look and adjust any of those times that were actually worked on for each employee as well. 
So you click OK. You now have actual cost, actual time, applied to all the jobs that you had clocked in and clocked off of that will then be able to be used to review that order and see just what your actual cost and how much actual time was spent on that particular job. And that pretty much concludes the ability to clock on and clock off the jobs. Um, you just you know, you clock onto the job, you clock onto your part, and you just clock off. Either you clock onto another job, or you can clock off or clock into a different station to end that particular time that you're working on that job, and it will track all that information for you every time that you do a, every time you clock onto something different.